attending the Sheep and Soil Health School. Erin, tell us a little bit about, about your background, where you're from, and what how you're involved with agriculture. Well, I am a former NICU nurse. Um, I moved out here about a year ago from California and um, actually settled in Texas first and came up here to, to get started on a, a different life up here. And I have zero experience with livestock with the exception of know if you can count chickens but you know that's kind of my experience with with animals so how did you hear about the school and and what brought you here what made you decide to register and come I went to a grazing class a management intensive grazing class down close to where I live and Steve Freeman was one of the um, his farm was one of the ones that we went to tour and I was so impressed with with everything you know just the holistic approach to it the it was, it was just an eye-opening experience. So that, um, you know, I kind of talked to him about, he does cattle down there and I'm a little small to do cattle by myself. So my interest was in goats or sheep or, you know, the other options out there. And he says, oh, if you're interested in that, these are the guys that you need to, to talk to. So he kind of gave me the information for this class and that was, that well, was how, it. How has it been? I mean, you really bring a new, unique perspective. We've interviewed some people who have a background and have been in agriculture for longer. So how has it been getting this information? Is someone new to it? How do you feel about everything you're learning? I absolutely love it. I feel like, you know, I've taken a couple classes along the way and I feel like things are finally starting to come together and I feel like they came together with this presentation. Um, you know, maybe because I had gathered a little bit of background up until that point but I think this put the whole picture together. And I feel like um, just invaluable. It's been a, a wonderful, wonderful experience just to see how it all, all fits. Do works. you feel like then you have gotten some tips, tricks, I feel like I can go home and do this now, or, or you know, some takeaways that you're gonna take home and get started with? Lots of takeaways, a lot of good information, um, I think, the one that's probably the best for me was the fact that the existing fencing that I have is something that I can use with just minor alterations. Um, a lot of things that I think will save me a lot of money in the long run. Yeah. So, Do you feel like, um, again, I'm going to key on that kind of the, the new kid on the block. Tell me what it's been like interacting with the variety of people who are here and their experience. Have they been willing to share and teach you also besides Ray and Jeremiah teaching? They have been wonderful. Like everybody has been wonderful. But I think also I've made a point of if, if someone is having a conversation that I get up from where I am and I go to the conversation. So instead of, I'm kind of a shy person. I, I don't really do that well. Um, but you really have to put yourself out there. If it's something you want to learn, you have to put yourself in the conversation and learn from the people that that know the things that you don't. And everybody's been very helpful. I know I've had a couple of side conversations with Ray and, and of course Jeremiah is my brother, but um, you, know, you talk to them and, it, and, and you feel like hopeful or yes. like you can be a part of something that's hopeful. Do you agree with that? And how, how does that kind of the, um, not just the hands-on and practical stuff, but kind of like the spiritual, emotional, um, aspects of the school and inner, and inner workings and talking with all these people here and especially with Ray and Jeremiah's teachers. Do you find that too, like that hope or that we can we can make things better? Very much so. It's a it's an uplifting feeling. It's a neat one. It's good, good. good. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here and for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it.